Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first recorded Get Gritty Mental Skills Tip of the Week. Today's tip is about writing positive affirmation statements. And the key here with positive affirmation statements is that they have to be believable. Just repeating to yourself, I am the champion, I win every time I enter the show pen, is not going to work for you if it's not a statement that you believe. So when I help people write their positive affirmation statements, I have them follow it with something. So let's say one of your common doubts is forgetting your pattern in the show pen. So when you're rewriting that into a positive affirmation statement, if you just write, I always remember my pattern, and you've forgotten your pattern the past five times you've been in the show pen, you're not going to believe yourself. If, however, you rewrite your positive affirmation statement to be, I will remember my pattern provided that I write it down before I enter the show pen. Or I will remember my pattern if I practice my visualization. And this does two things. One, it makes it believable because you're giving it a reason why it's going to actually happen. And then two, you're making a plan of what you're going to do to ensure that it will happen. So both of those things transform that positive affirmation statement of, I will remember my pattern into something that's more believable and more concrete. So that's your mental skills tip of the week. Have fun creating your positive affirmation statements. There's something that's really useful that are really very helpful to repeat to yourself right before you go into the show pen or before you ride your horse or before you do something that is challenging. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me, hit reply to this email newsletter, or if you're watching this on Facebook, just write a comment and I'd be happy to help you write your positive affirmation statements. Thank you very much, everybody. Get gritty.